session we are going to discuss about uh, these aspects but after all we mean by research and what research is not of course to distinguish the two why at all we go for research there are certain characteristics for research which type of research we call as the quality research and research classify classification which i was saying it can be on basis of purpose and it can be on the basis of the method also so first first of all after all what we mean by research let me uh, i will have more of the interaction with you so just i would like to know from first of all kite group of institution ghaziabad any faculty from there who will like to present his her view about what they mean what you mean by research yes kite group of institutions i, I will like to request dr kale khan to call to invite participants for interaction aapka camera nahi chal raha sir okay let me go to dr viral kapadia ms university of baroda and you hear what you mean by research let me hear from any of the participant sir bati you so clear karke lekar do 20 seconds se seconds se sir aapka camera nahi hai kuch bhi okay sabhi sentences sabhi sentences ke liye rahega ji मीनिंग ऑफ रिसर्च what you mean by research or how you think research you can sir invite any of the participant no comment okay okay let me let me hear from the, uh, the uh, one of the uh, this uh, member in our studio sir aapka naam kya hai abinash ab uh, mr pande nahi aap nahi aap bhi nahi jayenge abhi karna okay okay let me do then so uh, research is say I I I was not going for any technical difficulty for that. This is Hello. just hunting for facts or. Hello. Anji Gandhi. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, regarding that uh, research, um, uh, we are having uh, regarding our view should be if yes, uh, yes. if some problems uh, we need to be uh, uh, generate and that problem need to be solution. Every problem need to be solution. and for that we need to be some part of analytics means part of analysis Very so good. that, that Very part good. of analysis that part of analysis may be descriptive may be calculative or may be numerical may be computational so that problem definition make uh, conclusion of one research hmm. okay sir you and uh, what is your name may i know your name please uh, santosh kumar satpathi ma'am acha santosh kumar ji bol rahe hain to dr santosh kumar ji agar maine as you are saying Yes, solving a problem. It may be a numerical problem. Say, I have a numerical problem and I solve it. Will you call it a piece of research? Hello. Yes, ma'am. You will call it a piece of research. Yes, ma'am. Oh my God! Even it, it means even a tenth class student, if he solves any numerical problem, he has done a research. Yes, ma'am. Okay, no, sir. Here, yeah, sorry, sorry, sir. Just solving a numerical problem. That is not a research. So let's. I think we have a need to go to the systematic way of doing. Research is hunting for facts or truth about a subject, and that too is done in organized 
it's a scientific investigation to solve problems test hypothesis hypotheses are the guesses i will dwell on that again develop or invent new products as we were mentioning in the inaugural uh, uh, function also whenever you invent something new that is a research and this total process actually is done in a very systematic way how you see say you have a, if i if i am giving the example from technical education how this casual observation say i am teaching a, 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 a students in a laboratory and i find that the students coming from that is students coming from a a a type a particular type of family say the whose parents who's the father are uh, is having uh, some skill type of job maybe say plumber electrician like that and my observation is that that those children perform better in the laboratories now i don't i can't generalize on these observations now i want to really see that is it really the fact what happens i generate the hypothesis that the children of uh, uh, of parents who are in skilled jobs they their children will perform better in the laboratory so i start implication is i start hunting looking for those things make observations collect information huh? and then i make the generalization that it, this really is the fact now this has added to something new to the already existing knowledge now this may be it's not necessary that it is happening i am just giving the example of the technical education it can happen in sciences in engineering everything so wherever you have certain observations and you feel that this might be happening right on one observation you can't make a generalization but say you have seen certain things then you make hypothesis that this is this happens then you systematically investigate those things collect lot of information apply certain tools and then come to the conclusion this total process then is called as the research so research is systematic follow certain steps that are logical in order you can't go in a haphazard way i will take some examples also understanding first of all is the understanding nature of the problem to be studied and identifying the related area of knowledge so first of all you start with you identify the problem without having problem you cannot start the research then as we were mentioning then you go for a review of literature to understand how others have already approached now this thing is very important otherwise you may end up with certain thing which has already been investigated so only from review of literature you come to know you come to know what are the gaps what type of problems you can see and when you uh, if you have those those who have already conducted research if you look into the research papers you will see at the in, at the end of the each research paper uh, they have given what is the scope further scope in that area right what is the what are the areas of further research they also open ways to identify the problem where are the gaps and everything that can be that hints can come from there then once these things are done then we go for collecting data once the data is collected that data is analyzed again there are number of statistical techniques to analyze data now the researcher has to decide which analysis technique will be best suited for the for the problem at hand then you draw conclusions and make generalizations now so the steps are asking questions from there you identify the problem statement now it's very important 
that the problem you you identify that should be worth file right uh, it should be have some significance in life it should be feasible also you are not able to approach certain thing and you take that as a part of your research work no point in going on that your problem should selected should be unique one nobody has done work on that already of course somebody has done some work you can take that work further that again will remain as research but you can't duplicate the work of the others if you are duplicating the work of others then it's not a research so when you are solving a numerical problem by applying certain formula that's why it's not a piece of research after that you formulate hypothesis what are hypothesis so sorry there was some disturbance so uh, after when when i saw that key is not there so i rejected that guess that it's not true same thing happens in the research process you made certain hypothesis and you may come up after full investigation that those hypotheses are not accepted it might be accepted it might not be accepted so in any case acceptance or rejection does not affect the quality of the research once that's done you collect data test the hypothesis interpret your results further new questions are posed and this process goes on now we said that research is systematic systematic means it is following certain steps that are in order now can i collect can i make inferences without collecting data of course not can i collect data make inferences and then make the problem no so research is systematic because it has followed certain steps in a logical order we can't change that order right so research is systematic process of collecting analyzing information to increase our understanding of the phenomena about which we are concerned or interested then what research is not research is not information gathering say i say mr a prepared a paper on e content generation after reviewing literature it's not a research because he just collected certain thing and that's it say another i'd say mr say avinash prepared document giving information about age qualifications teaching industrial experience of the technical teachers in a in a, in, a, in any of the states now because further nothing is done so just this collection of information is not a research i take another example mr rakesh participated in the workshop on curriculum development prepared report through literature survey and discussing with participants now when all these things are done then it start making a part of research i take another case a director of technical education uh, was concerned with complaints from pwd civil engineers for about technicians that they lacked practical skills so he wanted to conduct a study he obtained information from employers polytechnic teachers and other related people depending upon uh, based on certain well defined well made research tools he made certain hypothesis that they should be there he made took interviews from sample of employers teachers then the data was analyzed interpreted and uh, findings were reported now let me know from you can i call this as research anybody at any center i am saying when the complaints were received director of a technical education he obtained information from uh, uh, using a questionnaire 
and uh, from the employers, polytechnic teachers, uh, for taking into account for those complaints, the nature of complaints, questionnaire was prepared, that was given to employers, teachers, and then it was analyzed using appropriate statistical techniques, and the report was written. Can I call this as a piece of research? Uh, let me have view of Mr. Pandey in our studio. Yes. We said two things for defining research, systematic and logical. Now you see he was uh, logical and scientific. So it is scientific because he has well prepared that questionnaire, looking into every aspect. Then logically things were found, questionnaire developed, based upon the things which they wanted to study. That was validated. Data was collected, analyzed, and then report written. So followed logical order, systematically the things were going, scientifically things were going. So this can be called as a piece of research. Just collecting the information about age, qualification, teaching, industry, and keeping on one side, that's, that's just the information gathering, and that's not research. Gathering information from resources, books, magazine is not a research, because they are not contributing to any new knowledge. Research is not transportation of facts also. Transporting facts from one source to another doesn't constitute research. Say, I take information from one book, other book, third book, and I put it in another book. This is not research. No contribution to new knowledge. However, it makes existing knowledge more accessible. Say, I put my book, any textbook, on the website. Right? And it now what I have done, I have transported it into one form of presentation to the other form of presentation. Now the access of that thing is has become wider. Access has become wider, but still it is not a piece of research. It's still not a piece of research. Piece of research will be only if the investigation is scientific. Followed that certain uh, procedure, certain steps, and then reached at certain conclusions. Then only we call that as a piece of research. Of course, about why why we do need uh, why do we need research? Certain things were discussed in the morning also. Uh, let me hear again from you. Why do we at all need research? Research nahi bhi karenge to kya ho jayega? Hmm? And as uh, mentioned in the morning, are we doing research only for getting PhDs and masters and bachelors and all that? Bachelors level baby or thesis dissertations. Hote hai. Are we going for that only? No. That's why it was mentioned in the morning by Dr. Pike Tulsi, director, that the topics which the students are selecting for pursuing their PhD or master. They are more focused on getting degree, not the real type of means uh, uh, effort for really getting giving something new, something different, something really needed by the society. And what to talk of that? And I, I won't say that they are going into the fundamental or the basic research because that is all the more difficult. So they are not even going to the applied type of research also that they are fine putting certain concepts, fundamental laws to a certain situation and coming out with certain other new things. That's not the effort. So we must think the, on this thing seriously. Research when we are conducting, that should have some, that's why we had, when problem selection I was saying, it should be worthwhile. It should be significant for something. It should not be just it should that you have conducted the research and that it be a showpiece in your library. That should not be the aim. So we conduct research for uh, finding solution to complex problems, which are not existing today. But after conducting research, you have come out with the solutions to the problems. Then what can be the other uh, reasons for going? I would say 
if i will start listing listing them you will say oh this we were already knowing so that's why i would like to know first from you what uh, what you think uh, should uh, that we, that we we, we we should go for research uh, let me invite cordia institute of business management sanghol i will like to hear from the participants of uh, this institution why after all we want to go for research good i am seeing good number of uh, faculty sitting there and i am very hopeful that some of you must come forward and though your institution is management institution but you are free to give examples for in engineering related or other areas also yes anybody will come forward for uh, 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 telling us the need for research no very good very good i am seeing one of the faculty is coming forward good thing madam apna naam bata dijiye pehle mujhe good morning ma'am good morning i am dr sekho haan ji dr sekho haan ji bataiye madam your question is why do we need research yeah in my point of view we require research, research is required to fill the gaps or lacunae to understand the evolution in every walk of life very good very good very good effort yeah. madam uh, thank you thank you dr sekho so you are to find certain gaps in certain situations also you go for the research you can investigate laws of nature law of gravitational force newtons what what are all these they are the laws of nature only and you have gone for it to make new discoveries to develop new products you see there was a time when there was no mobile hmm so now we have come up with this so with new products you go into any walk of life and you will see number of new products are coming in the market what is how they are coming out of the research only whether it is done in india or in other country but all those are the result of some research only to save costs also it's not that you come up with new product only but say you some find some efficient way of doing it say car hai you you will be seeing वहां पे कितनी माइलेज कम कर देता है पर उसकी कितनी पर लीटर कितनी माइलेज है इवन दैट इज ए पीस ऑफ रिसर्च सेविंग कॉस्ट ओनली सो इट्स नॉट दैट न्यू प्रोडक्ट्स कम इवन इफ इन एनी एनी फील्ड वेन यू वेन यू आर रिसर्च वर्क हेल्प इन सेविंग दो कास्ट दैट आल्सो इज ए पीस ऑफ रिसर्च टू इम्प्रूव अवर क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ आई रिमेंबर इफ यू गो इन टू एनी मेडिसिनल एरिया you will see earlier there were no treatments right surgery kya kya cataract wagera ki surgery kaise hoti thi and now my god even you can be without glasses and all that number of other things not only i i would go into the medical sciences even in the engineering you go into any walk of life and you will see research has improved the quality of human life so there is definitely a need for going into the research so and this is human desire also human desire because human beings are very inquisitive to know the things and when you start going into that you for fulfilling that need you start under conducting research also so point is there is definitely a need for research now what should what is the quality basis of the quality research first is scope and limitations of the work to be clearly defined now this is very important at times research is done in a limited area and the generalizations of those findings may not be true for other situations so if in your research paper in your research work you clearly spell out that under so much such type of assumptions taking these assumptions this work is done then 
it becomes very clear to the other person that under what circumstances with what under which limitations the research was conducted then the process to be clearly explained so that it can be reproduced and verified by other researchers now this thing is self explanatory and i would like to know from you to further explain it and again i go to the centers various centers for asking let me go to city group of colleges jalandhar madam uh, is there a, a madam coordinator they are not connected okay uh, let me kite group of institutions gaziabad dr khan please help me in uh, asking for certain uh, uh, invite your participant to tell why this is im important why i am saying that this is a part of quality research that your process is so clearly explained in the document that it can be reproduced and verified by the other researchers hello yes sir yes sir uh, no, ma'am uh, uh, when uh, we go for some research uh, some other researcher also having uh, conclude with some uh, solution and if any other new researcher should be research on that same uh, concept and having some newly um, applied thoughts and newly applied uh, requirements newly ap applied testing then we need to be uh, verified and that verify should be uh, quality oriented so that there may not be any overlapping with other uh, solution with that new um, uh, getting solution means new outcome solution sir you have uh, um, made a very good effort but that effort you are saying that is for going for the further research here what i am pointing out is you are from uh, gandhi engineering college sir and uh, what's your name sir what's your name sir santosh kumar satpathi acha ji dr santosh hi bol rahe hain thank you sir here what we are emphasizing is say you have done a piece of research now the thing which you have done i'm not saying that you are furthering that research i am saying under what variables under what controls that should be clearly spelled out in the document so that say i am the other person i am not going for conducting the research but i am doubting the results of your research work now what i will like to do then i will like to go through those all those steps to verify that what you have inferred is really true right here i am not saying that i want to further your research work quality research is that anybody who will like to verify what you have done once done that is should be verifiable by the other person also now if certain points are missed in your documentation of the work, research work what will happen if i want to reproduce that and verify that really you have reported in a right way if certain things are missing what will happen when i start doing it i will not reach at the same results and i will say that there is something wrong in your research work this is particularly true when the research work for say thesis or for the is given if the things are not uh, means uh, reproducible by the if the if the examiner is going through that he is not reaching at the same results it means certain things are missed at certain points so quality research says that when you are documenting your research work you should be you should mention all the things there so that the other person any other person can verify those things uh, uh, now you see uh, uh, see the uh, the, the difference dr santosh but we are conveying through this thing of course your point is good but that is for furthering that research taking that research work ahead then a thoroughly planned design that is as objective as possible so when such type of things are there we call that piece of research as the quality research what is bad research obviously what is not a good research 
so all those things which were which anything any of the things which were earlier mentioned was not there then it's not a good research work well i would say this thing plagiarism this is very manji uh, i i can hear some question from somebody that, plagiarism plagiarizing other people's work nowadays this has really a problem we have seen in seminars conferences some of the means a uh, 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 participants go up to this extent that they don't change the comma even and reproduce the other person's work. Now, or para after para is taken from some other's work and that is added in the research work, and that is specially done when they are uh, citing a review of literature. Picking up the paras from others' work is plagiarism. So nowadays, number of Uh, uh, these softwares have come, which check these aspects also, and this is so dangerous. I would say that the degree can be taken back if later on it is found that some others' work is quoted in your research work. There are certain percentage is allowed uh, because after all, when actually when you are giving the review of literature, then of course you are quoting the other person's work. but you are to paraphrase that work in your own words and finally relate with the certain things and then come a reproduction of others findings is not review of literature and this the plagiarism mostly come in the chapters in the introduction and the review of literature so one has to be very careful for this thing then falsifying data to prove a point this again is very important say i have certain observations that okay the person if uh, he is given long lectures and this truly really happened uh, on say communication skills and that person will do very good in communication skills now it might be my perception so now i made the presumption that the results should come like this now once the data is i uh, was collected right and it was found that teaching through lectures importance of communication skills it has not changed the communication skills of the students now because my perception is or maybe my observation for one two students is that this is this has changed now what will happen the researcher is tempted to because i am having that type of assumption so researcher is tempted to extrapolate the data in a way falsify the data to prove what i intend like that now when this type of effort is done again it's wrong it happens that you have developed a very good system of say ict right you say that the use of ict should definitely change the understanding of concepts of the students but you and work on it you find that it has not changed but you have that thing how can when i am using so many tools powerpoints and everything i am showing films how it has not changed it should have changed so what he said okay there must be some uh, a wrong thing happened in collecting data you manipulate that data falsify the data and then prove that okay use of ict has improved i don't say that it will not improve but point is when i feel like that it should happen and that doesn't happen and the researcher falsify the data to prove that point that is not a good research misinterpreting information and misleading participants so this type of thing will come from the falsifying data mis you misrepresent the data information and make the conclusions which you feel should be so that's again not a good research that's it not a quality research uh now i come to the some of the research characteristics now you will see all research will originate from a question or some problem that will always be there 
then it requires clear articulation of a goal. As uh, Dr. Tulsi was mentioning, and she stated number of uh, statements which were written in maybe in the research work of uh, PhD students or uh, uh, this uh, MTech ME students, that you that the goal is not clear in this statement. Of course, in problem statement, you may not be writing each and everything. But then when you come to the writing of objectives, then it should be clearly spelled out what exactly you want to do. Follows a specific plan or procedure, as we just said, that it, any research work follows uh, f uh, certain steps which are logical in order. We generally divide main problem into sub problems. It generally happens, but it may not happen in each piece of research. Guided by specific problem, question, or hypothesis are made. If not hypothesis, there are st certain studies wherein you go only for research questions. In number of studies, you have to make certain assumptions also. Those should be clearly spelled out. Requires collection interpretation of the data. So this is how the research goes. Then we come to the classification of research, which we said can be on the basis of purpose, what purpose it's going to serve. And the other is on the basis of which method which we are going to employ for conducting the research. First of all, we talk about the basic research. Basic research, we develop some new theory, right? So here, extension of knowledge is there. I would like to ask again from the centers uh, where she will say that some new theory is developed. I will just like to have examples from you. And for that, uh, let me go to MS University of Baroda. Any participant from there? who will like to give me the example wherever new theory is developed through research. Yes. Dr. Viral Kapadia, will you help participants to come to the speaker for sharing any example of it? Hanji, madam. May I know your name, madam? Mike said. Okay. And theory. Okay. Thank you, madam. I have given a big hint here. Develop a new theory. Now, if you go into uh, means uh, science area, and you will see a number of theories have come. Bohr theory, Rutherford theory, right? Uh, even Newton's law, gravitational law, what, what, every, what is done in all these theories? Something new, some new theory is given, right? Process will remain same, which we have already discussed in the, uh, in the, in the introduction to research, that is uh, these logical order steps, which we have mentioned. Steps will remain same, but they have developed the new theory. Now let me come to this uh, psychology area also. There are laws of reinforcement. Management students must have heard about the Maslow's theory of motivation. Now, what are all these? They are the new theories given. So basic research can be done in any area. And this uh, adds to existing body of the knowledge in that discipline. When I say Maslow's theory of motivation, it means something new has been added to that management area, that field. If I say Archimedes principle, something new, something new is added to 
that body of the discipline. So in, in a basic research, which is also called even a fundamental research also, there generally new theories, new laws, they are given and they are proved also. In basic research, you will see there is this also involves a rigorous control of variables. If I go into the adiabatic and isothermal processes, you will see the control of temperature, these things, pressure, they are going to affect the results. So you go for rigorous control of variables in these types of research. Of course, when we go to the experimental research also, when we are classifying the research on the basis of method also, same types of things will come there. And in number of experimental research, they may lead, they may be form part of the basic research only. And these are generally conducted in laboratory settings. Even the Skinner, when has, he has given the laws of reinforcement, the, these uh, laws, the, when he went for these certain experiments, he has controlled the things to see the effect. Now, when I am saying all these theories, when these things are applied to certain situations, then they form the uh, part of the applied research. Now, you see that uh, the, the, here the purpose is testing of a theory or solving practical problems. Right, Archimedes principle or Newton's law, the, all these have added certain new knowledge. But applying those concepts, huh, elasticity, strength of materials, all these things, yeah, when you study all these laws, these laws can be applied to certain situations in civil engineering, certain situations in mechanical engineering. So here the purpose has changed. You are not developing a new theory, but you are applying the known facts, known theories to a given situation. Strength of materials help you in deciding what will be the strength of that uh, pillar. So you, you apply those concepts of the basic research to a given situation. If I come to this uh, theories of motivation, right? Now, these are applied how we can motivate our students to give the best results. How in an industry, we can apply different motivational theories to get best out of the employees. So what we are doing in this applied type of research, we are applying certain basic fundamental research work into the given situation. So then it becomes a type of applied research. Likewise, in, uh, under applied research, there, are, there also comes uh, uh, research and development type of activity wherein effective products for use in educational institutions are developed. It may be a curriculum document. It may be a new type of uh, material, instruction material developed. But there, when you are developing, first, again, you have to follow certain steps, logical order, and they are tested also. It's not just making and finishing the things. So those two are, uh, the, uh, the, that is also necessary. Then third type of, uh, basic, uh, this uh, research based on purpose is the action research. Now here, the scope is very limited one, in the sense that there is a, some specific problem which is existing, say, in a particular industry only. Because of certain interpersonal problem or, say, in a certain communication problem, in any industry, or I would say even in any educational institution. But the problem is specific to that particular institution or that particular industry. Everybody is not facing that problem. So when that work is done for that type of problem, the scope is very limited. There we go for the action research. So this type of research is to solve immediate problem for local situation. That's why I'm saying for a particular industry, for a particular organization only. Now, the beauty of this is that it is a type of collaborative research. Means the purple person or the industry or organization who is in problem, that person, if they have the expertise for the research, OK, they can go ahead with that. But if they don't have that type of expertise, then they can invite certain other researchers, consultants to solve that problem. Also. Now, here what happens? 
once the problem is solved you cannot generalize if you go to the basic research if you go to the applied research findings are generalizable even the motivational theory well played in some other country the same type of laws being tried in india and in other countries also right basic research i won't say that elasticity laws are different in uh, usa and different in india they become the universal type of thing but if you come to the action research it's too localized it may be happening in one institution and in the same city you may not be apply the same thing to the other institution what to talk of uh, talk about the global type of thing so action research is and that's why its findings are not generalizable whereas for basic and applied findings are generalizable so this type of research is conducted for the purpose of solving specific problems in specific situations only researcher implements the findings of the researcher because some of the people will become part of uh, part in that in conducting the research and analyzing the information so they themselves are also using it that's why it's also participatory in nature then i was saying the other uh, way is classify research by method here it can be historical it can be descriptive it can be experimental it can be correlational it can be uh, evaluation it can be ex post facto and it can be i will not take the historical one and in any case we are not going to discuss also uh, in this course because historical has more significance of the history and how the things go went in past and how we can go further so i am not going to take on that issue uh descriptive method of research as we were mentioning earlier it involves collecting data in order to test hypotheses concerning important is that we go for the current status of the things what is happening now in any subject of the study here generally data are collected through questionnaire interview or observation and descriptive research can be of three ways one is survey case study and uh, content analysis now again i will like to know from you people what you mean by survey type of research because research survey word is a very common word so i let how you infer what will be included in the survey type of research can i hear anything from mr pande here हाँ जी पंकज अच्छा अविनाश पंकज सॉरी हाँ जी अविनाश पंकज हाँ जी सर्वे रिसर्च उसके के लिए मैम यू कीप सिटिंग डेसेंट मेटर मैम सर्वे रिसर्च में यू बेसिकली कि किसी फील्ड में हम कहीं जा रहे हैं तो कोई पर्टिकुलर फील्ड मैंने डिसाइड कर दिया तो उस फील्ड में क्या-क्या प्रॉब्लम है फर्स्ट ऑफ़ फेस्ट का प्रॉब्लम क्या हो सकता है इंडस्ट्री और whether what type of salary issues are there timing issues are there health issues are there general awareness is there so a type of questionnaire is uh, uh, made and uh, we collect information from group of uh, selected employees so very good attempt uh, you have made let me hear from now from um, this cordia institute of business management i will i'm sure 
they will come up with thing because in management we do go for lot of survey type of research survey type of research is not that common in engineering areas but definitely in uh, technical education and in uh, management this finds a uh, this is widely used yet we hear from uh, cordia institute of business management yes madam anybody from you uh, earlier also dr sekho from here has very beautifully given the examples and i want to hear more from your center dr radha kamal haan ji haan ji madam aap mic ke aage aake bolenge yes somebody is turning or not hello yes hello ma'am haan ji bataiye डॉक्टर थरेजा फटेजा कहाँ से है मैडम आप ना माइक थोड़ा दूर रखे माइक आपका इतना क्लोज है कि आप हाँ हाँ जी नाउ नाउ इट्स ओके हाँ जी मैडम Okay. So I want to check whether there are my product is suitable for Indians or not. Very good. Is it important or not? Because okay. it is a new market in India. Okay. A certain kind of survey on Indians to check the suitability of my product in that country. Very good. Very good. What is your discipline? What is your discipline, madam? I am from any department. चल पे चल पे चल पे MBA department yeah, I was I was expecting that because you, the example you have given that pertains to management only thank you madam very good effort so he says that in management area it may be that you have uh, means launched certain uh, new product and when you are launch it's it's uh, it means designed at some other place and it is to be launched in India. then you have to see the market and you make certain uh, market survey for uh, uh, for this uh, whether how it can be launched there very good so in the survey research it is meant to report the current status of the phenomena under investigation it's the study of the prevalence of certain beliefs attitudes behaviors based on people's responses to specific questions now she has given one example very rightly rather i would say Uh, even in engineering now i am giving one example from the engineering say you are going to design a software for uh, to be used by say physically challenged individuals now unless you make a survey and study their needs their problems you cannot means uh, uh, prepare a new type of uh, software for them so there also you may have to go for survey and say and another example is given uh, here polytechnic students perception of their teachers attitude and that attitude may be how they behave with them how they react with them how they means about their teaching uh, preferences like that it may be survey to assess the needs of technician program say you are going to start a new program and you want to make a uh, make, to assess the needs whether it is desired required or not so even that area can also be a research then under descriptive research another is the case study it is investigation of a single person event or institution or a group you may took uh, just a few group of students teachers of some type administrators like that now here it's not a means a uh, Uh, case will be also always for either very good thing or very poor thing for normal type of thing we do not go for any case type of study right so say i find uh, any say i i will make a study on the 
leadership style of a very leading institution leading a leadership style of a principal of a leading institution right i find that that person has very uh, these 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 his qualities are very good in it now my point is can i generalize this thing can i generalize let me hear from you i have taken a case of an i said na single person so i have taken a one principal of an institution who is running whose institution is running at doing giving excellent results so i really want to know that what is that what is good in this person right that he is able to run the institution in a such an excellent way and i find certain characteristics of that through investigation of that case can i generalize those things that all those persons who are having this thing will be having the uh, means uh, will run the institution in a excellent way can i generalize anybody from any part any uh, center yes i have to follow my point i am in a case study i have said you can investigate single person single event single case right i found that there is one institution which is giving excellent results for in all fields and i want to see i want to see study that person the the principal of that person what is there in his uh, way of doing the things that his institution is coming up in a very nice way and on that case study i find that these are the points which are there which has helped in making that institution go in a uh, give the excellent results now can i generalize it have you followed now can i generalize anji uh, pankaj ji what is your view pankaj ji is in our center we cannot generalize it because it is based upon the administration on the single person only so case studies they help in generation of hypothesis for other study what i will do i will say okay because this this these things were good in this so if these things are there then those institutions should perform in an excellent way but case studies results are not generalized you see in look in medical sciences any particular medicine that has done well in a particular situation for a particular patient that becomes a case but for generalization they will administer those things to the different patient now it type of uh, sorry for the disruption uh, uh, sorry for the disruption uh, there was some technical problem here so when we are analyzing these say examination papers or reports what we do that uh, i i take the example of examination papers we make a list of certain things which are to be analyzed for making content analysis say whether it really covers the whole syllabus whether the right type of weightage is given to each type of content there are no grammatical mistakes right the figures etc given in the numericals are right so taking so the so two uh, so one uh, a, a form is performer is made to analyze each of the paper on the basis of that uh, performer and experts are uh, uh, subject experts views are taken then they are analyzed and we reach at the final conclusions so because it's going in a scientific way and following logical steps to reach at the final conclusions so this again become a part of the research uh, uh, research only so content analysis is again a part of research work only then we have the correlation research this type of research involves collecting data in order to determine whether and to what degree relationship ex exists between two or more quantifiable variables you will be having by its set two you will be having at least uh, two sets of scores say if i am saying uh, study habits of the your the number of hours spent in studying daily it may range from say uh, one uh, an hour to 
maybe say five hours uh, per day and to the academic performance of the student now i am having two scores set of scores for each individual and i relate i find the relationship between the two so there can be more variables also say academic performance is not only dependent on the how many hours the student is reading daily it may depend upon his interest his uh, learning style and number of other things can be there so when i am relating uh, his his previous performance it i i am relating more than two variables that two will form part of the correlation study only this this type of uh, relationships also helps in making predictions also when the two things are related then we can predict how they will on the basis of certain relationship we will predict what will happen next say so when we means uh, when the weather or other forecast type of things say financial even uh, these things are uh, predictions are made there are certain say today what is the moisture what type of sun will be there uh, heat uh, temperature is there uh, they relate to whether rain will be there or not that type of predictions are there so there are certain relationships on the basis of that only meteorologists make certain predictions so that type of relationships are established in by the correlation studies only now the degree of relationship can lie between 0.00 and 1.0 it can be negative also negative means the direction of the relationship is reversed the purpose for going for such type of studies is to determine the relationship and determine other other uh, means uh, sc uh, scope what is the scope for other type of variables which may be uh, affecting the present situation for that also we go for uh, correlation st uh, studies and uh, the the variables on which the predictions are based they are called the predictor variables then another set of studies under uh, correlation studies are the prediction studies if two variables are related score on one variable can be used to predict the scores on the other variable say if i say the student is good in physics i will say that he will be doing well in uh, the subjects which require more of physics in engineering subjects uh, uh, one uh, one two students of mine they have studied what type of uh, the subjects even the topics which are having relevance which are having the effect on the understanding of the different electrical engineering subjects so that type of predictions can be there what is the score in the joint entrance test and how the student will perform in the uh, engineering college there are now there are problems coming on because uh, the the entrance test they more they are more of multiple choice questions only and whereas the means that may not be i won't say exactly because on that i have not conducted the study that may be affecting the understanding level of the student if it is crammed and then reproduced and say okay selection is made and then of course when he is sitting in the engineering classes he is not that good in the physics but he has to study that then of course there will not be a good predictor and if you conduct such type of studies you may come up with those type of things that why these type of things have happened that in spite of the good score the student is not performing well in the engineering college so entrance test score score can be produced to predict the uh, scores in the engineering college now to so see how serious things become say you say that the per, we have selected the individual in the college because he has a very good entrance test score right now if it is not predicting success in that then why should this thing become the parameter for selecting the student individual for that engineering college or maybe any profession it may be medical it may be even the uh, any other professional colleges maybe agriculture maybe teaching why should that entrance type test score should become the basis then even the basic matlab basic thing is questionable here so prediction studies help in these type of things then we have another type of uh, 
uh, correlation study. This is ex post facto study. To some extent, it goes with the correlation. To some extent, it goes with the experimental study. Ex post facto uh, is is the, the the difference between ex post facto and experimental is in the ex uh, in the experimental study. Very one variable, independent variable cause is manipulated to see its effect on the dependent variable. Right? But in ex post facto study, cause and effect are studied, but both of them already have taken place. You will see at certain situations, you cannot manipulate the cause. There are situations where you can manipulate the cause, but you are not able to. Uh, in 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 the ex post facto where the things have already taken place, say in a particular society, in a particular community uh, uh, locality, there are individuals who are suffering from cancer. Now, the uh, the because that is happening in a particular locality, so the cause has already taken place, and effect has already taken place. Now, in such type of situations. You cannot go for the experimental study. Experimental study, if I go, I will have to induce the cause. Can I make these situations that the people should suffer from cancer and then I say, okay, this is the reason. So in certain situations, you can't go for the experimental type of study. You have to go to the ex post office. Bridge collapse kar gaya. Aap situation mo kya karoge? Bridge bana ke todoge? That's just not possible. So point is in engineering and in other areas there are things which you cannot manipulate, and for those areas we go for the ex post facto studies. Then lastly we have the experimental studies. This also we are going to discuss at length in the session. Here one variable is manipulated to study effect on the dependent variable. There here groups are randomly formed to study comparisons. There are certain variables are also exercised. Say, if I am uh, taking uh, this, uh, I, there are, I am using ICT, use of ICT is there, and uh, I want to study that whether it is uh, affecting the performance of the students in the learning of this uh, uh, subject matter, understanding of the subject matter or not. So, I, I will take two classes one class studying. Using ICT method, the other class, uh, uh, other class is not given that type of exposure. Then only I can means study. So I have controlled the situation that one class is exposed to that thing, and the other class is not exposed to that situation. But say, why I am saying control on variables is exercised? Say, this class to which I am giving uh, teaching through ICT, I am using information communication technology in teaching. I have already taken the group which is highly intelligent, right, and highly dedicated, highly motivated. What will happen? The results will not be because of the use of ICT. Result will be because of the some other thing, some other thing. So, in experimental type of studies, whether it is done in the technical education area or it is they are done in the pure sciences or in the uh, in the engineering areas, you have to put certain controls to see the effect of certain independent variables. So these type of uh, contents with the examples will be discussed for the uh, in the in the experimental method in the uh, uh, in our course in detail. These will be taken. So experimental method is used for. Establishing really cause and effect. For correlation research, you cannot establish cause and effect. Say, if you find a very high correlation relationship between two variables, it may not be the cause of the other, the other thing. That may not be the cause, but relationship is there. You will say why, and that we will take on the when we will be studying correlational uh, research in detail. So with this, uh, I end. And if